Welcome back to NWA 3D Tutorials with Michael. Today we're going to cover the installation of Cura and the basic settings for the A5 printer. So when you're first presented with a screen, we can go ahead and select from Add Printer and choose Custom and enable the printer name to be NWA 3D A5. Now go ahead and click on Add Printer. We'll see our machine settings open up and we can select here the width, depth, and height of our printer. We're going to change the X from 100 to 125 y to 150 and we're going to leave the z at 100. Next we have the g code flavor and we want to change that from marlin to rep wrap. Now next we want to click in the left top of extruder 1 and then select the material diameter from 2.85 to 1.75. Go ahead and click finish in the bottom right and then we can see that we have our basic interface. Now we want to make sure that we're on custom for print setup and that our material is PLA in the top right. Now here we have our basic workspace where our models will appear and then we can also select different values to change how our model will appear. Now what we want to first do is we want to select on profile and manage profiles. We're going to load in a new profile by clicking on import and then selecting it from our SD card. It should be inside of the Cura file and labeled as .cura profile. Once chosen, it'll import and it'll change all of the settings to the basics that we recommend. Now go ahead and select the profile under custom and choose activate. Click close on the preferences box and then we can change or cover a couple of these values that you could change. Quality is going to determine how nice your print becomes. So the smaller this value is, the nicer it will look. Our lowest value is 0.1 with the highest value being 0.3. Now, 0.3 will be coarser or rougher overall. Next, we have our infill, which will determine how strong our prints will be. This value can range anywhere from 5 to 35% is a good area. Now, it's going to print a grid-like structure, and it should provide quite a bit of support at 20%, so I'm going to leave it there. Next, we have our speed. We can change our speed to be lower to increase quality or make it higher in order to maybe result in defects or issues with our print as 50 is our base recommended speed. Next we have support, and support is going to enable us to print complex structures or things with overhangs. Now for this example, I'm going to leave support on. If you don't need it, make sure you disable it to save time and plastic. Next we have fill plate adhesion. This allows us to stick better to the plate. The skirt is going to prime the nozzle, while the brim would create a suction cup effect to improve adhesion. I'm going to leave it on skirt as we won't need it for this model. I'm going to load a model by clicking in the top left hand corner of open file and then select from the SD card in the STL files folder. Now I'm going to choose the snap fit sphere and it will load into my workspace. For camera controls we can right click to rotate, hold down shift and right click to pan, and then zoom in and out with the scroll wheel or trackpad. In order to enable the options here on the left hand side, first left click a model and it will enable us to move, scale, or rotate the object. For this instance, I'm going to move the object more towards the front corner of the printer and then also select the scale to be 125 to make it a little bit larger. And then I'm going to actually rotate this model as it would print best for its orientation on the flat side of the hemisphere. So when I choose rotate, I'm going to move to the side and make sure the red circle is flat. Left click, hold, and drag until 90 degrees. Once you let go, it should drop to the build plate and it's more in an appropriate manner to print. Now we have mirror, per model settings, and support blocker as more advanced tools that we can use. In order to view the model or how it will be printed, first we need to select prepare in the bottom right. It'll slice the model and prep it with coordinates for the printer itself. And we can view those coordinates or the movement by selecting on solid view to layer view. Make sure the color scheme is from material color to line type. Now inside of here, we're able to adjust our slider in order to view the internals of the model. And for instance, our yellow is the infill. The red and green are going to be our shell. The light blue is our support or build plate adhesion. Now I'm going to check the very first layer and ensure that it looks and sticks onto the build plate. That looks good for me. And I can go ahead and choose save to file and save it back onto my SD card as a G code file. 
Once you click save, go ahead and eject your drive and now you can insert it into your printer in order to start 3D printing. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please feel free to fill out a support form on our website and let us know what your problem is. Thanks and have a good evening.